r slash ask reddit what do you wish was socially acceptable napping at work or leaving when you are done with your stuff some days i finish up everything i have to do early or i'm waiting for someone to get back to me why can't i leave and run errands or go to the gym anything i'm reachable via call email or text instead i pretend to work by posting on reddit because at least i am typing away at my keyboard there's plenty of research showing that napping at work actually improves productivity. I believe a lot of companies in Japan are actually encouraging it. Also, working in IT I wish the whole leave when your work is done is something you can do. I spend 5-7 hours a day at work bored because there's nothing to do. Can confirm. Work in IT. Have had nothing to do all day. Boss is on holiday, will inevitably find something to tell me off for when he gets back even though no one had a computer crisis. Saying no to an invitation without having to make up an excuse. Edit. Gold. I've only been on this website for a few weeks and I'm not really sure what it means. But thank you so much. Stranger. Edit. What I meant by a few weeks is I've only been actively posting for a few weeks maybe a month. I've been on reddit for almost half a year, to the people that are mad at me, sorry, I guess, I didn't ask for the gold, man. I just say no, but then again nobody invites me anywhere anymore. I call that a success. Just being silent, we don't always have to be talking, we could just be absorbing the world around us, but for a lot of people, sitting in silence is really awkward, I don't mind it at all, if there's nothing to say. Why say anything? Found the fin. Edit. A goddamn letter. Haha. <laughs> no. Just a Brit. D. Picking my nose. Sometimes blowing into a tissue just isn't going to cut it and you need to bring out the big guns. If God didn't want me to pick my nose, then why are my nostrils finger sized? Edit. I found some gold up there while digging around with my finger. Thanks. But maybe your fingers are nostril sized. Foo -hoo 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 Full on sprinting from place to place. I haven't got time to walk everywhere. I am a grown ass man. Why can't I run around inside? Edit. For ye scavenger hunters. Check this out. I re giant gaming. But I couldn't get far. Now I've come full circle. Just do it. Make sure to cast terrified glances over your shoulder as you run. Maybe other people will start running too. Allahu Akbar. Now everyone is running. Letting all the kids go out and play in the neighborhood like in the 80s. I feel so bad for my niece. My sister is moving on to the same block I grew up on but her experience is going to be completely different. I used to hop on my bike in the morning and I might be back for lunch. Otherwise I'd be back for dinner. I honestly don't think my sister is going to let that happen even though that neighborhood has only gotten nicer since I was a kid. Edit. Everyone is on my sister like it was a choice she made. It's shit like this that is stopping her. We've talked about it and she's not happy about it either. But she doesn't want the shit storm from other parents that you unfortunately hear so much about. Media fear mongering is absolutely rampant and is now seriously ducking with future child development. The helicopter parents are everywhere now because they have been spoon fed nonsense about the world and now fear every stranger is a potential kidnapper and or child rapist. Mothers are having the police called on them for letting their kids ride bikes from their house to a friends a few blocks away, or letting them walk to the park, or even play in the front yard unattended. Kids are being reprimanded or even expelled from schools for doing things kids normally do, but now fall into the completely idiotic and draconian zero tolerance policies schools are implementing. It's completely asinine. And I hope something changes for the better soon. Napping in the middle of the day or in public. I wish I could just conk out on a bench or a chair for like 20 minutes sometimes. But then I'd look really sketchy. It's actually really common on college campuses. But your friends will take pictures and post them on Facebook. A few years back I was in the library at my university. I was sitting in a cushioned armchair that had a pull out desk part. My laptop was on the desk part and I fell asleep in the chair. When I woke up. I eventually finished up what I was doing, and I exited out of my work. That's when I discovered someone had used the built-in webcam on my laptop to take a picture of me sleeping. Then they put it up as my computer background picture. I figured someone would have joked about it with me and told me they did it, but nope. I never found out who did that. It could have been someone completely random. 
whomever, or is it whoever, it was, they got me good. I would rather sit at home as a valid excuse for not going out on cold or rainy days. I might do this on nice days sometimes, Netflix isn't going to watch itself. Seriously, it can get pretty needy, every few hours or so it'll ask if I'm still there. Point blank calling someone out on being a total gong. Point blank calling someone out on lying. Definitely also that. Second breakfast. I'm gonna tag you suspected hobbit. Walt Jr. would also work. As a grown male, telling a little girl that she is adorable. No I don't want to abduct your child. Her ponytails are out of this world cute. Now good day. I have to go gnash my teeth and eat some beef stew. Being around kids as a grown male in general. People are so damn paranoid these days. I get such strange looks being 500 featuring away from the elementary school with binoculars. Adults playing hide and seek. There's nothing more intense than the feeling of being hunted. Edit. Duck you I'm not fixing it. After a certain age it is called manhunt and is still acceptable. I went on a manhunt once. I just got back from Nam. I was hitchhiking through Oregon. Next thing I know there's a bunch of cops chasing after me through the woods. I had to take them all out. It was a bloodbath. Repositioning your gentlemanhood in public without looking like a creep. The secret is to look them in the eyes, adjust and nod. Especially if it's a girl under the age of 12. Casual sex, like, hey, I'm bored, anyone want sex, without a whole lot of drama attached. That would definitely make the workday more interesting. Sally, I got a rager, it just won't go away. Wanna go? Sorry Phil, you'll have to take a rain check. I just got back from the sex room like 20 minutes ago. Go ask Emily. She looks a little randy. Oh hey no problem. Thanks for the tip. Excuse me. I work in IT. There are like 3 girls in the whole building. Being a straight guy. Telling another straight guy that he's attractive. Sometimes they just need to know. Why can't a heterosexual guy tell a heterosexual guy that he thinks his booty is fly? Not all the time obviously. Just when he's down on his self esteem. Dinner for breakfast. Yeah everybody loves the idea of having bacon and eggs at night. But if I want a cheeseburger in the morning somehow that makes me a disgusting ham beast. I see nothing wrong with dinner for breakfast or having breakfast for lunch or dinner. It's a matter of taste and if I want a burger or pizza at 9am, I'll have one damn it. Um, rollerblading. I feel like at some point rollerblading went from being an awesome thing you did as a kid to a totally socially awkward thing that probably means you're super gay. But, I thought it was a fun way to get exercise. Nowadays you have to tell your parents that you're gay before you buy a pair. So ridiculous. Just grab a hockey stick and people will think you're practicing. Men showing emotion. Or talking about their feelings. But it's so much easier to tell them to suck it up. And wait until they commit suicide. And then say why didn't he tell us? That's my secret. I don't have emotions or feelings. If I were a bus driver. It would be smashing into cars that are double parked and blocking the bus lane. I. As a pedestrian would like to smash cars with a baseball bat golf club when they are parked on the crossing or sidewalk. In Korea, leaving on time after work hour is over. The amount of overtime here is ridiculous and actually looks down upon if you leave on time or leaving before your superior leaves. And these duckers don't even pay for overtime most of the time. This is a problem in the US too in salary positions. In many companies they look down on you if you aren't putting in extra hours. Even if it isn't really needed. Slapping people who cut in line. Anyone skips a queue in the UK and they get beach tutted straight away. We even beach sigh and beach glare at them for good measure. Skipping. Faster than walking and fun as duck. My son skips a lot and gets in trouble for it at school. As if being a happy kid that loves to skip down the hallway is not acceptable. Gets in trouble for skipping? Does your son go to the same school as Matilda? Being nice on Xbox edit. Rip my inbox. Also, I am nice on Xbox. But, other than Battlefield and Minecraft, most of the time, I almost always am getting yelled for being a ducking wee Ben 0 b and told to go ducking kill yourself you ducking retard. I mean, everyone gets that. 
But it's just duck I'm stupid. Eat a dong jet it too. Thank you you slash too shifty few for the gold. Frank you very much. Last night, I had a really great conversation with your mom. You son of a decent human being. Women asking men out. Username checks out. It is becoming more and more socially acceptable. But choosing to be childless. I really don't want a kid. I'm in my mid 30s. And that feeling is not going to change. This. I got a vasectomy in my early 20s. Married. Because we knew children were not our thing. We decided that if things ever changed and pets just wouldn't do anymore. We'd just adopt someone else's kid and give them a good life. $3,000. No insurance. To save $200,000 that'd be needed for a child. Well worth it. Plus side great sex and saving a buttload of money not having to buy condoms. Edit. Gotten several questions yes. The price was high. But I had zero insurance at the time. pre aka days. And took a payment plan for it. My wife was also slightly older than me. Which may have helped the case convincing the doctors. Who knows. Also. Will refrain from using this at the start of my posts. Thanks reddit. Colon. Removed. I'm sticking with this. Taking a day off from work because you mentally need it. It's hard enough at my job to call out for being ill. But when you're dealing with a lot of shit and you need that mental day to shut down for 12 hours or so while still being awake and you actually need it, no one gives a shit. Edit. I just want to point out that the question was about what we wish was socially acceptable. I know that I can just call in with a stomach virus and be okay. But the point is that I wish I could call into work and specifically say hey, my brain can't handle the workflow today. A place I worked allowed us to take 3 duvet days a year. In addition to our vacation allowance. Basically you could just call in on the morning and say hi boss. Duck today. I'm staying in bed and that was that it was really appreciated by everyone. Having a bad day. I mean. If your day sucks every day. That's different. Something needs to be changed. But sometimes I just get off on the wrong foot or something and I'm sad. Or crabby. Or just generally not pleasant to be around for that day. The thing is, I don't take my frustrations out on other people. I mean I usually keep to myself. And yet my boss, co-workers, what have you, they all wanna be like what's wrong? What's the matter? Why are you being so quiet today? I appreciate the concern. But just let me be. Some days I just don't feel like talking or being social. It's nothing against anyone. I'm just not having a great day. Maybe me and my wife fought this morning. Or maybe I'm worried about a mole I found on my leg. Whatever the case. If I wanted to talk about it, I'd bring it up. But everyone acts like they have to try and cheer me up and talk to me. If you just let me be till I go home and go to sleep. I promise. When I wake up tomorrow I'll probably be fine. People get in bad moods. It happens. They don't mean to. It's just a fact of life. As long as that person isn't taking their personal shit out on you. Why bother them? This happens to me sometimes as well. I simply start out the day by telling everyone that I'm about a 2.5 today and that I kinda want to be left alone. I will often use the phrase, just let me get my crap done. It's amazing how, if you're upfront about it, people will understand and leave you be. People can be really good people if you clarify your expectations upfront. Going to the cinema alone, or being alone in general, edit, to be fair, I enjoy doing things alone immensely, other people are serious effort, just wish that others don't tell me they think that's weird or sad, which I've been told many a time, for doing so, is this unacceptable, I go to the cinema alone all the time, going to the cinema is not a social event, it's a place where you stay quiet and watch the film. Half of the things people mention in this thread are socially acceptable but people feel self-conscious. Being friendly with others of the opposite sex in the workplace. I'm not saying getting to fool around with them. But I have some female co-workers that I am friends with and joke around with. All the older people in the departments think I'm a flirt and a womanizer. Edit. Wording edit too. Just to clarify, I never touch my co-workers. I never go to their workspaces without a specific work reason. Or ask personal questions about their body sex life etc. The only exception to these are when they invite me to. I wasn't surprised at the comments of people accusing me of doing the before mentioned. I think it just drives my point further. Try working in education. 
then women are almost your only option so people don't think it's weird. Just change your career to manage the perceptions of your work friendships. It's no big deal. Girls talking about masturbation. Come on. We all do it. Ladies. TBH guys don't really talk about masturbating. Edit. Didn't realize other dudes are super keen about chatting about jerking off. Yep, but guys still grow up being allowed to be horny semen monsters. Girls have to be all he 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 masturbation. You. Wearing blankets as jackets. Or over jackets. Or just for fun. Edit. I have given this a lot of thought. And you guys. Are my people. You mean like a poncho? Edit poncho. I literally mean a comforter. This is oddly specific but I wish it was acceptable to blow teams out after a certain age in youth sports. Every year there's a story, usually about girls basketball, where a team obliterates another by a score of like 104 and afterwards there's always a call for the winning coach to be fired. But somehow, running up the score is considered being an a-hole. In my opinion, once sports are being played competitively, teams shouldn't be punished for kicking the shit out of the other team. Singing even when not drunk. I sing a lot. Just idly to myself. Sometimes I idly do it on my bicycle or whatever when out and about. Quietly. And only notice when I get a what the hell. Look from the person next to me at a light. When they give you that look. Sing louder. I have a repertoire of sea shanties just for that exact occasion. Edit arc. To answer the overwhelming request for links. I will provide. To start with. The dreadnoughts have some good covers. HTTPS colon slash slash www YouTube com watch V equals FLL will just roll the wood pile down HTTPS colon slash slash www YouTube com watch V equals plus seven DCI four and list equals plapkds BQs kexks four RHJTQNN Rikok A Old Maui HTTPS colon slash slash www YouTube Com watch v equals h58 exvl myers and list equals plapkds bqs kexks 4 rhjtqnn rikok a randy dandio all three are good covers and with the exception of the last one they are easy ones to learn randy dandio is a piece of goddamn witchcraft to sing after that i like spanish ladies although i don't have a clue who sings this version https colon slash slash www youtube com watch v equals d2 gene to back with drunken sailor you can start off with the more well-known verses and from there sort of work in anything you want now if you want a challenge learning some songs in irish can be very rewarding and while not necessarily sea shanties they do fit the mold i'm going to only share two by the same group https colon slash slash www youtube com watch v equals d6 srnv6 w0 re dollarman https colon slash slash www youtube com watch v equals omata 5 reform fyan hula and if all that isn't enough for you well google is just over there coming into work later and working later everyone gives me the hairy eyeball when i come in at 10 o'clock a m but none of those duckers are around when I leave at 7.30 p.m. No one gives me a well done when I work those occasional 60 or 80 hour work weeks or when I'm at on site at 3 o'clock a.m. For a switch replacement. No. They gotta be smart as and say. Thanks for coming in today all snarky like. Duck you. Carl. Today I learned it that everybody hates Carl. Breastfeeding in public. Just leave the mothers and their babies alone. Discussing salary, it's hard to know what jobs or industries are worth trying to get into when every inquiry about salary information is met with a weird look and, I do all right. Quitting a TV show brace yourself for a lecture if you dare admit the wire isn't your cup of tea. It gets better, you just got to stick with it. Playing, as an adult, there are times I want to just start playing with toys or legos and make up stupid scenarios and stories like I did when I was a kid. But if I do it now at 22 suddenly I am autistic. Men could wear dresses skirts. They look so comfortable and breezy in summer. Edit. RIP my inbox with sweaty balls comments. Sexual health from elementary school. 
no more slap shaming nor unwanted pregnancy, and lots of STD will be reduced or erased. Talking about depression and mental illness, no, it won't stop if I just pretend to be happy again, and no, I don't make it up, and another no, it won't cure it if I just stop thinking about it. When someone dies, I want to know the cause of death. Whoa, you made it to the end, you're a ducking beast, I'll cut you a deal, smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh, it's free and that's a great price.